Hi, Capricorn. This is Lucky with Lucky Seven Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, this is your bonus reading. You guys had the most watched video for the month of June. Thank you so much for all your support. So I am doing a bonus reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, we're going to see what is coming up for you guys. All right. Now that I'm reading from now until, let's say the end of June, but I'm actually going to go out for the next three months just to see what may be happening for you guys over the next three months. All right. Three month bonus spread. Okay. What is coming up for the sign of Capricorn? Remember, I, any of these messages can resonate in the reverse or backwards if you're cross watching or anything like that. I may also be explaining it as if it's one way and it can be the other way around. It can also be somebody else's energy towards you. Okay, that may be coming through in the reading. So let's go ahead and get into this. If you're interested in anything that I have to offer, my website is lucky 7 I will list it in the description box below. All right, so let's see. Capricorn, hold on for me one second. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What is coming up for Capricorn for the next three months? The very first thing that I'm seeing Capricorn is somebody may be having some health problems. Now this can be mental health, physical health, or emotional health, but I'm seeing this more as physical health. Now, I don't wanna scare anybody, but this could be like gynecological problems. Some of you need to see a gynecologist. I feel like there's some sort of disappointment that you may be struggling with, all right? Some of you guys are dealing with a disappointment. You may also get some sort of disappointing news coming in, all right? I'm also seeing, I feel like you've gone through something really significant here some sort of ending of a relationship that was really significant for you, but you're on, it's like you're going through it and coming out on the other side of this. So I'm seeing this like, I do see domestic happiness in your near future. Some of you, this person is at a distance from you. I'm also seeing you guys do some traveling. Maybe going on like a journey um, something either closer to water, over water, something of that nature on a boat. For some of you, it's a spiritual journey or an emotional journey. I'm also seeing some of you guys receive some sort of inheritance or, um, a gift of money or wealth coming towards you, okay? I'm seeing some type of recognition as well. You being recognized for your hard work, your effort, the energy that you're putting out into the world, okay? Um, sorry guys, my lips are dry, okay. For those of you dealing with health problems or having some sort of disappointing health issue, I'm seeing that clear up for you. You may just need to go see a doctor, something of that nature. I do feel like there is somebody that's bringing a lot of happiness or joy into your life, okay? Um, I'm also feeling like some of you guys are dealing with maybe a move, a change in your environment, a change in your home. If your current conditions of any kind are unpleasant or unfavorable, I see that changing for you in a big way. I feel like the future is, is really looking a lot brighter for you. Some of you could be getting married. 
someone moving in or moving out some of you could there could be like news of someone getting married or like going to a wedding or something of that nature but I feel like this is you this could be the gift that you're getting some of you are getting wedding gifts some of you the gift is somebody's heart I feel like you've been disappointed with some sort of health situation, but you get over it, you get past it, okay? Let's see what else. <clears throat> what does the tarot have to say? What do you have coming up for Capricorn for the next three months? Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So you have the six of wands. I definitely feel like a lot of you there's some healing from something that you finally like you gave a lot of energy to something and now there is some sort of healing as you let it go like it's not manifesting in the way that maybe you wanted it to or you thought that it would after everything that you gave to it I'm I'm feeling like things start to change as you let go for the better okay You have the Hermit Virgo energy that flipped out for you with the Knight of Cups. Some of you guys, there could be a love offer coming in, especially for those of you who have been single or are single presently or have been single for a while. Some of you, this could be with a Virgo. I feel like there's a lot of fear surrounding the situation. Um, some of you are feeling rejected I do see okay you have the page of Pentacles and the moon I don't know why I'm getting uh, some of you there might be a child that's hiding something from you or some sort of secret involving a child or someone younger whether this is you or someone else feel like somebody was trying to manipulate the situation and the truth has been revealed there could be also communication revolving around a secret having to do with a child someone younger doesn't have to be a child you could be the child in this situation you have the two of cups and the six of cups I feel like some of you guys there's like a relationship either developing or going to the next level coming in for you that's changing things in your life whether this is a love relationship or friendship I don't know but this is like a very kind of soulmate connection for some of you you've known this person either in a past life or you have known them previously like um a while ago a long time ago you have the empress and the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck there's some confusion surrounding a new beginning someone has options they may not know where to place their affection and has to make a decision here about what they are investing in and what they want to grow for others this could be somebody lying about a pregnancy or the a, the birth of a child. We'll see when I clarify. And you have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. And the Six of Pentacles, I do see a potential higher level commitment. For some of you, this could be marriage. For others, I feel like there could be a relationship that there was not an equal give and take in this connection and someone is having a hard time letting go, all right? The relationship, someone was giving more than the other person. And I feel like it's been a burden, a weight weighing you down. Some of you, it's an Aries or a potent, maybe an Aries or Virgo. I do see a lot of manipulation there. 
Let's see what the challenge is for you. Tell me what's going to be challenging for my Capricorn subscribers out there. Please make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and post new videos. Your challenge is the Queen of Cups. And the Moon. Piscean. Piscean and Cancer energy. For some of you, the challenge has a lot to do with holding back or keeping your emotions a secret. For others, this is like a secret involving a pregnancy or something secret surrounding a pregnancy. What's the outcome? The temperance, Sagittarius energy is your outcome. With the Eight of Cups, I see you guys letting go of something. I feel like it's been a long time coming, whatever this is, walking away. Now, somebody could be doing this with you or you could be the one doing this, but either way, I feel like balance does get restored in this situation. Like, you gotta be patient. Let's clarify some of this and figure out what's really going on here. I do feel like um, you guys are getting something you really want, Capricorn. There is something that makes you feel really fulfilled, something that changes, is, is really changing things in your life for the better, all right? I feel like there is something that may have been hidden, um, kind of made you feel alone or has made you feel alone. I feel like there's gonna be some truth revealed regarding this. Could also have to do with a Virgo for some of you. I'm some of you I do feel like you're getting out of your head about something but it's been a long time coming there could be some communication coming in that brings things full circle for you could have to do with a Libra maybe a Sagittarius all right and I feel like there is this brand new beginning, an opportunity for something really to grow, but you've got to let go of something in the past in order to make room for this new opportunity coming in. Some of you, there is something, I'm telling you, that you, you might have been connected to someone that you felt like was your person, and I see someone walking away from this, but... There is also a decision where somebody is having a hard time letting it go. Like someone is still trying to hold on even though maybe the other person has walked away. Could be an Aries. Maybe a Virgo. I'm also seeing for others, there's potentially like an ending of a cycle in your life and this new opportunity for a new beginning with a person that you feel very emotionally drawn to and connected to, but sacrifices must be made. I do feel like someone is moving on towards, I feel like somebody is moving. Now this could be you Capricorn that's moving forward towards this really abundant brand new beginning and someone is grieving the loss of you, right? Or you're doing, like you could see somebody moving on from you and you're the one that's grieving here. I take it how it resonates. But this is a part of your destiny and there will be healing no matter what. Healing from a broken heart. Some of you, you know, this is you. Where, you know, you're the one that's grieving this situation but I see a brand new beginning in this. Something, I feel like someone is moving on towards greener pastures. I see, I feel like a lot of you have felt alone in a relationship that you wanted to give to. Or you were giving to. There, This could have been 
I feel like there's a third party involved for some of you. There's a Gemini. Also, I don't know. Maybe there's Gemini energy here. But I see a love offer. But I feel like this love offer has a lot of instability behind it. Some of you are going, you know, deciding to be single. Or you have been single. If you've been single, I see a relationship coming in that is really significant has a really there's a really big change there but I feel like this love offer that's coming towards you it's almost like somebody here doesn't trust it okay let's talk about this challenge why is it the queen of cups oh wow So you have Justice, Libra energy at the bottom of the deck. You have the Seven of Cups, the Magician Reverse, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. A lot of you, your challenge is to let go of something that has held you mentally hostage. Something where there was a lot of manipulation. Um, Somebody may have had other options or they just didn't know where to place their affection. Like there was a lot of confusion around this situation. But I definitely see where there's a lot of emotional attachment. And the universe is trying to tell you like, don't let this hold you up. I also feel like the truth in some way could be revealed or like the truth coming, coming to the forefront about someone's manipulation and I feel like there's a lot of it's kind of like there was a relationship that was built on sand you know it was like building a house on sand you know and I feel like there's a lot of emotion attached to this situation but the challenge has a lot to do with not letting your emotions control your actions. Why the Eight of Swords reverse? The Tower. Something happens unexpectedly that changes everything. And I think it's something that you have been waiting. Like, it's like you knew the whole time. You were waiting for the other shoe to drop. And it drops. And now it's time to, like, break free of this energy that's been controlling you. This is a part of your destiny. There might be something that you also don't have closure on from this situation that still has an emotional tie to you. Tell me why the temperance is the outcome. The nine of swords, bottom of the deck. You've got the five of wands reverse, six of wands reversed and the death card Scorpio energy I feel like you have been waiting to like make peace with an ending in your life or a person in your life where things for some of you it didn't end well for others you just don't have closure and I think you've been waiting for that to happen could also have to do with the Sagittarius for some of you and I feel like things are not changing you know, for the better. There's a whole lot of waiting and it's like, it, it's not changing. You're afraid that this is really over at this point or they are, okay? There's definitely no stability in this situation. I think it's weighed you down very heavily because you may see this as your person or the ultimate person for you and the universe is telling you like, that's not it. Let's see. Yeah, somebody, somebody tried to get away with something, be sneaky, and that creates an ending, significant ending in your life. It's like you're done with it. Somebody could have been telling you what you wanted to hear to get what they wanted. I see a brand new beginning where there's a lot of abundance, a lot of celebratory type of energy here, something that has stability, 
So the reason some you're about to find out the reason that something didn't work out, even though, you know, it had a hold on you, it didn't work out because something better is coming. Something better is coming up, coming in for you, Capricorn. And the universe is like, you cannot hold on to the past and expect to have room for the future. All right. So you've got to be willing to let that go peacefully so that you can make room for what is to come. All right. Let's see what other important messages are here for the sign of Capricorn for the next three months. Somebody is either watching you, Capricorn. I feel like somebody is like stalking you, watching you, or you're doing this with them. I feel like somebody here has fear of abandonment. You may, someone is asking like maybe even watching tarot, watching your tarot, you watching their tarot, trying to get more information about a person. I feel like love comes in and surprises you out of nowhere. And it's with someone. I feel like it is with someone that for some of you that you have a very strong sexual chemistry with this person. For others, I feel like um, you could be dealing with a third party situation, someone interfering in a connection that you have with somebody. And what you don't realize is that that person is in love or there's feelings there for someone else. And that could be you with the two people for some of you. Take it how it resonates. I see a soulmate type of connection and it's like, I feel like a lot of you are going to be finding out about somebody moving on. Yeah, I see someone listening to their ego or they have like a fear. I feel like there's this fear of intimacy. And I think you've been waiting to hear from this person, waiting to talk to them. They've been avoiding you. You've been avoiding them. I don't know. Somebody is definitely really hurt. Someone is really hurt. But I think that somebody also feels used. And they've created boundaries. Within this situation. You may be finding out. That Someone that you like, somebody that you love, is has a lot of passion for someone new, has found somebody new. For others, this could be you finding someone new. As you heal, especially for those of you who are single, as you heal, I feel like there is someone that comes into your life that could be a soulmate connection that has also been through a lot in their previous relationships. So there could be like a fear of opening up and being vulnerable. But there is a lot of passion within this connection. A lot of passion within this relationship. All right. You guys connect. It, there's a diff, like a difference here. Let's see what else. What other messages do you have for the sign of Capricorn? Capricorn, there is something you're having a hard time letting go of or you have been and now you're finally going to be leveling up. Some of you, you may hear news of a graduation. Obviously, it's graduation time. So, um, Somebody is lying about a new love or lying about a child. Uh, lying about their feelings to a new love. I see you guys like seeing things clearly, finally setting the goals that you want to achieve for yourself. Some of you are frustrated because of heartbreak and disappointment, possible third party situations. 
I'm also seeing you learn something about a family member. You seeing a family member or a friend for who they really are and separating yourself from this person. I feel like they backstabbed you or disappointed you in some way. Some of you guys, I am telling you like, some of you, there's somebody from the past or a past life person that you have, that has your their eyes on you or your eyes on them. A lot of you, I'm telling you, there's this fear of being heartbroken, but you've got to learn to let that go. I, I feel like there's a friendship that someone wants to gamble on. Wants to take a gamble on. But there's also this fear like, oh my gosh, like what if we try to be together and then it doesn't work, you know? Somebody definitely has secret feelings for someone. They may be hiding their feelings from their family Feel like someone is really embarrassed hiding some I feel like somebody has a secret from their family that they've been hiding and now they're getting over that it's not a secret anymore um I do see some sort of celebratory energy someone getting over the past all right celebrating that they're finally letting go of the past Yeah, there is definitely some sexual energy here that I'm seeing potentially with someone new. I feel like somebody here has definitely done a lot of changing or transforming. Someone may also be making their feelings um, known, more aware. Like you may be becoming more aware of someone's feelings for you, okay? Let's see, for those of you who want to know about someone specific, how is this person going to be feeling? The person that Capricorn is thinking of, how do, they, how do they want them to know? What confessions do they have for Capricorn? I feel like somebody is tired of talking or arguing about a situation because the other person really avoids accountability here or is avoiding accountability. I feel like someone has unhealed childhood trauma in this situation. They may also feel like you come with too much drama so they're focusing on themselves. They're praying for you is what I'm seeing too. Oh, this person's moved on. They have moved on. They may even have feelings for you and someone else at the same time. They, st I feel like this is somebody that still has feelings for you. They still watch you, but they avoid accountability because they don't wanna fight with you, they don't wanna argue, they don't wanna create any unnecessary drama in their life. Let's see what else. Capricorn, there's gonna be an offer on the table coming up for you very soon. I do see somebody lusting over you like online are you doing this with them like searching for information wanting to stay connected to this person but i feel like they're not talking to you some of you there's silence because somebody is in love with someone else or has feelings for someone else somebody may also just not be expressing their feelings they're keeping them their feelings to themselves i do see somebody with a fake social media profile or hiding something on social media. Some of you are, there's somebody hiding their relationship from social media. I see you feeling sad. 
because of a karmic situation. There is an offer that comes in on the table, right? But I feel like it comes from an unhealthy person. I feel like for some of you, there's somebody that may be dealing with addictions or it may be very toxic that may need to make a confession, whether this is you or somebody to you. I feel like someone is looking for certain signs from someone. They want to know their business without other people knowing that they want to know. Someone is very connected to their family. I feel like someone wants to retaliate or also may try to retaliate. It may be a family member. Could even be like online retaliation or something like that for some of you. I feel like you learn, someone learns the truth and they run away. They avoid you. They're not, they don't talk to you or you do this with them. Somebody is avoiding taking accountability for something. Someone is getting over some type of embarrassment. Feeling embarrassed about their sexual activity or about a sexual situation I'm seeing. I feel like you may be finding out that somebody you love has feelings for someone else. And I think that makes you feel sad. You may also want to retaliate against this person or that's how they feel about you. For some of you, this could be there could be like a lost love with someone who's still angry with you or vice versa. You're angry with them. I feel like there's still this desire for more with this person for a lot of you. Some of you are obsessed. There's a, a an obsession when it comes to this person. And it's like, or they're obsessed with you. I don't know. Take it how it resonates but it's unhealthy let's see what else does capricorn need to know capricorn i can't get over like some of you are married some of you are getting into higher level commitments like they're someone wants to have a relationship with you or you want that with them i see an offer coming up some of you are worried about your job are worried that somebody is no longer wanting to work on something. I do see something. Some of you guys are expecting a child or expecting, like waiting for something that ended to come back around and like bloom and blossom again. You're trying to be patient here or somebody's doing that with you. I see you overcoming health problems okay like a huge opportunity coming in for you to overcome any sort of mental physical or emotional health issues capricorn i feel like someone is thinking about giving you a title some of you lost the title because lost the title because of a child um, hmm. some of you could be getting money or, or financial opportunities because of your child some of you are giving money to a child I feel like there is a, there is a relationship on the horizon. I see some of you either making a move soon, and I feel like that is beyond the next three months, but I'm seeing like a move. I'm also feeling like some of you are dealing with a child that doesn't have enough money to get to be in a relationship or to get married. They're financially strapped. I 
I'm seeing also for some of you, you could be spending a lot of money traveling. I also feel like for some of you, there's a child that feels left alone because of you, your personal relationship. Like some of you are more focused on your romantic relationships than your child. And it could be the other way around. So take that as it resonates. But I do see there being an unexpected blessing. A lot of you guys are worried about something. There's no need to worry about it. Like there's going to be an unexpected blessing when you need it the most. I see you guys making some decisions regarding mm. some of you guys have been sad grieving a relationship that ended you wanted to come back around but I don't see it happening I don't see it happening. I feel like, I don't know, somebody does want to make, somebody wants to move on. Some of you, there is a person, if you are single, there's somebody coming towards you. I feel like this person lives far away or I don't know, they travel for work something but they want to have a title with you they want to make things official with you all right this might be someone that you already know from the past like distant past or someone that you have a past life relationship with for those of you who i feel like there is i don't know i feel like somebody's Moving on for some. Let me, there's a change in your home life, in your family life. And I feel like it's a change for the better. Some of you guys are gaining some sort of recognition from your family or knowledge. Um, I don't want to say knowledge, but... You could even be learning about some sort of change within your family life. Some of you are getting unstuck from a situation and deciding to move forward. I see that. I see you guys doing a lot of thinking about how to move forward. You may feel like you don't have the money or resources, the support. You may also feel like something was stolen from you. Yeah. Some of you, somebody was stealing from you. Could have been a family member or is stealing from you. Could have been a family member, a friend. Some of you could also be spending money on like bailing someone out. I feel like somebody's going to ask something of you very soon and you... You need to tell them no if you can't do it. Like, just say no. Be assertive, all right? What else does Capricorn need to know? Yeah, what did I say? I said just say no. Look at that. No. No. Okay, it's not the right time. Just say no. Communicate clearly. Okay, there's somebody that you need to be open and you need to have trust that the universe is going to bring certain people and situations in your life that are going to be helpful for you. All right, some of you, there's some action that you need to take in order to remain positive within this situation. I feel like there is some sort of peaceful resolution you have. There's some type of abundance that comes in for you. There will be success coming up. You will have success with something. I feel like you need to have faith that something is going to work out like for your betterment. 
All right, let's see what you need to work on. What does Capricorn need to work on for the next three months? Your patience, Capricorn. You need to work on your patience when it comes to love. Whether it's people, you know, romantic love connections, family love connections. Stop procrastinating, okay? A lot of you are putting off for tomorrow what you can do today. Some of you need to stop procrastinating on what needs to be said, all right? There's things that need to be said. And some of you do not pay attention to the red flags, to the signs. And I feel like a lot of you have felt empty inside. And you have this emptiness within you because you don't pay attention to the what you know to be true. Listen to your gut instincts. A lot of you are going through a huge transformation of self all right learning new ways of loving you learning you know dealing with the shadow side of yourself and coming out on the other side but that's what you need to do that's what you need to focus on all right let's see what song may be significant or songs may be significant for you guys over the next three months middle of june to what is it June, July, August. So middle of June to the middle of August. We'll say end of August though. Dreaming of You by Selena. Okay, some of you guys are doing a lot of thinking about someone. I'm telling you, some of you are dealing with somebody at a distance. I don't know what type of distance that is. Never the Right Time by Janine. I love that song. Such a beautiful song. All right. Mm, and Confessions by Usher. Didn't I say something about a baby or a child? I don't know. Child not being yours or, I don't know, somebody making a confession about it. Child or a relationship on the side. Okay. So... Listen to those lyrics uh, of those songs. They may apply to your specific situation in some way, shape, fashion, or form. Let's see what advice Spirit has for you. Advice for Capricorn. Capricorn, your very first message. Happiness begins with you. Not with your job, not with your relationship, but with you. Happiness is a personal choice and it comes from within. So you are responsible for your own happiness. You cannot rely on anyone external or anything external to yourself in order to be happy, right? And at the bottom of the deck, you have be productive. So there is something that you need to continue to work on, continue to focus on, some sort of goal you're trying to achieve. You have looked deeper. There's something you're not seeing clearly, Capricorn, okay? You have let them be happy, even if it's not with you. So if you got to let somebody go, now is the time, all right? Some of you, you feel like you need proof in order to release or in order to let go. And I'm here to tell you, like, just let them go and go about your life. Because the easier it is for you to release, excuse me, and let someone go, you create that space. For someone new to come into your life that really does know your worth and your value and all of that. Whether this is that's a lover or family member or whomever, right? Don't let someone get comfortable with disrespecting you. Stand your ground. Create healthy boundaries. You will recover, all right? You're going to recover from this situation. This is not the end-all be-all, all right? Recovery is on the horizon. That is what I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and when I post new videos. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.